In this video, we are going to solve fundamental problem 2-9. The problem says, determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the core wheel and its direction theta measured counterclockwise from the x-axis. To solve this problem, first of all we have to find the components of these forces. For F1, we have one component which is acting downwards. And one component to the left. Also for F3, we have one component which is acting downward and one component to the right Let's call this F1Y, F1X, F3Y, F3X. The angle of F1 from the horizontal is given which is 30 degrees. For F3, let's call this angle alpha for alpha sine of alpha is equals to 4 over 5 alpha is equals to 53.13 degrees now we have resolved these forces into its components now we can add them up for FRX sum of FX let's call this direction positive equals negative F1X plus F3X now negative F1X can be written as 700 cos 30 plus F3x which is 600 cos alpha now alpha is 53.13 degrees this will give you negative 246.22 LVs For F R Y, let's call this direction positive. We have one negative force F two, have negative F one sine thirty. We have negative F three sine alpha which is 53.13 degrees negative 400 minus f1 which is 700 sine 30 minus f3 which is 600 sine 53.13 degrees this will give you negative 1230 LBs oh. or FR 
fr is equals to fx square plus fy square we have negative 246.22 lb squared plus negative 1230 square now fr is equals to 1254 lbs this is our first answer next we have to find the angle theta measured counterclockwise from the x axis formed by the resulting force what we can do here is we can drop up an axis here and We can draw Fy which is negative 1, 2, 3, 0 LBs like this and Fx is negative 246.22 LBs. I can drag this force up here. Now, resultant is formed from the tail of first vector to the head of the last vector this is fr this is fx fy now fy is equals to negative 1 2 3 0 lbs fx is equals to negative 246.22 lbs we are given this now this angle is unknown let's call this phi phi can we find out by tangent theta equals f y over f x theta is equals to tangent inverse f y which is negative 1 2 3 0 divided by negative 2 4 6 point 2 2 Theta is equals to 78.68 LBs, not theta but phi. But what we have to do is angle measured counterclockwise from the x axis. We have to go all the way, all the way up here till here. This is our angle made counterclockwise from the x-axis this is 180 degrees so what we have we have theta equals phi plus 180 degrees this will give us 78.68 plus 180 we have 258.68 degrees now this is our second answer. First we found the angle phi which is 78.68 degrees and then measuring counterclockwise from the x-axis we have to add 180 degrees so we have theta measured from positive x-axis and going all the way counterclockwise to the FR so we have 258.68 degrees I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please feel free to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates thank you